So with this fly, I'm going to tie a variation of a very popular uh, pattern here in the Midwest called a pink squirrel. So this is Hammer Creek's pink squirrel variation. Starting off with a size 14 uh, nymph hook with a 332nd tungsten bead. And to that, I'm going to add some additional weight. And I do this with lead wire. So maybe 8 to 10 turns. of lead and I'll just push that in so that it secures the bead head. Smooth out that end piece there. Get that good and locked down. For the thread that I'll use is an 8 uh, tan and I use tan because it matches the body or the dubbing of the body of the fly and so that way as this fly gets worn if any of the thread does start to show through, and hopefully it's because you're catching fish with it, then it will be the same color as the, as the body. So just get that tied in, and for the, <clears throat> for the tail, I'm going to use some flash material. So this is just regular flash, and what I found is that four strands, uh, for whatever reason, seems to be a good number of strands to use. I used to tie it with a lot lot more you know put in a half a dozen or ten strands and what I found is it was as I had differences in the t types of patterns that I had the one that had less flash was catching catching more fish and I just use four strands of flash and I'll just secure that back for the tail Tie that right on top, and then I'll come back and just take an angled cut down just to remove that, that length. Then I'll bring it back up to behind where I tied in the lead. And now I'm going to use some fine uh, gold wire to tie this in for the, for the ribbing material. And I'm just going to take that and again tie it in right behind the lead some good secure wraps and bring it back up to about the midway point of the fly and now I can start to dub on my body and for the dubbing I'll use a, a natural and antron mitt blend a golden stone and I want to put just a nice taper of dubbing on this on this hook. So just getting it on the on the thread. And then I'll start making my start making my wraps. bring it up to about where I'm going to start my thorax. Then I can wrap that gold wire on top. Not a lot of this is going to show through, but it's just going to be enough to be suggestive. Bring that back up to the top, and then I can tie that in. Helicopter that off. For the thorax, I'm going to use the same blend of natural and and uh, antron, but I'm going to use for the thorax a, a rusty orange color. Just going to start that on my thread. Just maybe a pinch more. And make sure that's good and secure down. Then I'll pull that back, make a couple of wraps just to tie everything off, and add some whip finishes.
cinch that up and trim off the end. Just pull out some of these wild fibers. And there it is. Real easy pattern to tie. Very effective. Uh, you can tie this in all, all sorts of different colors. This one uh, with the with the golden stone and that that rusty orange is is by far my most productive so great little fly again that's my version of uh, pink squirrel so that's hammer creeks pink squirrel variation